another post I saw this week that I couldn't find again when I tried to look for it. So I wonder if it got removed. Ooh, interesting. Because it was sort of smacked of spreading rumors. Oh. But the post claimed that apparently there's a lady on the numbered streets who is taking cats. Oh, I saw this one. You did see this. And getting them spayed and neutered. Getting them spayed and neutered and then Mm -hmm. dropping them back off in the same place. Yeah. But uh, still with their stitches or whatever. Which, I mean, honestly, what else are you going to do? Well, right. I mean, I suppose give it some time to recover first. Well, yeah, but there's, I mean, that's the thing with a lot of those. They're um, dissolvable stitches. So once they're in, there's not really anything else to do. Like A few people saying, hey, does anybody have any information on the lady on the numbered streets? Because I'd love to contribute financially. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Here's the thing. As someone who's seen way too many cats just get abandoned or not taken care of and stuff like that and just reproduce and reproduce until it's a problem, I think she's doing good work. I get it. And I understand that some people own those cats and like it's their property and stuff. But like. Sure. I think in Idaho, a pet is your property, right? Right. But at the end of the day, if you're not going to be responsible with it and it's something that affects everybody, you know, like cats are incredible hunters. They can destroy entire ecosystems because they like to hunt them little birdies. They do. You know? and Squirrels. So, right. That's the thing. So if you're not going to be responsible and get your pets spayed or neutered or keep them inside, if you choose not to spay or neuter them. Is this a, is this a Carly hot take? It's a hot take. Are you saying that that's I'm justified? And I she think should... it's justified because yeah. I'm so sick of seeing all these abandoned kittens and people not taking care of them and people not taking responsibility for their own actions. You know, you chose to not get your cat spayed or neutered, and now our shelters are overrun. We have to put pets down. You know, we don't have the fosters available to take care of all these cats. You make a compelling argument, that's for sure. Yeah. But the other discussion that I saw was, well, what's the numbered streets? Because there's... What do you think? Well, (laughs) Well, but there is some discussion about what constitutes... Sure, there are streets that are numbered. Right. But what constitutes the neighborhood known as the numbered streets? Okay, that's fair. I guess I would say everything under 17th. I would say, let me look at the map in my mind, everything between 1st and 17th Street and then west of Holmes, but east of Boulevard. Right. That's the numbered streets. Yeah. And they were saying it was happening sort of by Rose Hill Cemetery. Which I'm not sure constitutes a numbered streets. It's just outside of them, if that. And yeah. I know that those streets are numbered too. So I would call those the upper numbered streets. Sure, but I don't think you can live like near Woodruff on 12th Street and say I live on the numbered streets. So what I described, 1st to 17th mm-hmm. between Holmes and Boulevard, is what's called the Crows subdivision, the Crows edition, it was one of the first subdivisions in Idaho Falls. Makes sense. And so that's why I think people say, oh, well, anything other than that is not technically the numbered streets. Yeah, I would agree with that. Even though the street may begin with With a a number. number. Well, that flew by. That's our show. We want to leave you with this. You've probably seen the yellow cyber truck, Tesla cyber truck. I have. Uh huh. Parked in front of the new Romaine showroom at First and Hit. Which I still haven't been into, and I want to go in and see it so bad. It looks so cool. Especially at night. Mm-hmm. Now, I know that uh, for you expats and you out-of-towners that uh, listen to our show just to get the news from Lake Wobegon, <laughs> I know you're going to roll your eyes at this, but there's only a couple of cyber trucks in town. Mm-hmm. The yellow one belongs to Jake Heaton at Romaine's. I think he's the owner, right? Yeah. The forest green one belongs to that you're about to see belongs to a Robbie Woods. And I think Zach Martin, my buddy Zach, has one too. Oh. Don't ask me how I know all these people. Anyway, Jake was sort of the hero last week because I think he gave a couple kids rides in his cyber truck. Oh, that's nice of him. After he posted this video that we're going to leave you with, check it out. I don't know if you know this. Um, if you've never been in a Tesla, you may not. Mm-hmm. But Teslas have demos. They come with like demos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, remember getting a Casio keyboard as a kid? Oh, yeah. You'd press the demo button mm-hmm. and it would just go nuts. Yep. Kind of that. Mm-hmm. And it looks like when you put two cyber trucks together, they do it like in tandem or something. Oh, or maybe they just timed it really well when they hit that button. <laughs> or maybe they did that. Yeah. yeah. 
So anyway, Jake, let me use this video. Check out two cyber trucks having a little fun in Idaho Falls. Pretty fancy. <laughs> yeah, pretty fancy. Have you heard the rumor that raccoons um, try to break into cyber trucks? <laughs> yeah. Apparently, because they think that they kind of sort of look a little bit like dumpsters. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard that. I've heard all the Tesla and Elon hate. But I just think this is kind of cool. Yeah, I think the video is super cool. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for watching. Subscribe on YouTube. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye.